minutes as he made it to the X Factor final. And now Essex boy Ollie Murs has topped the charts. The 26-year-old from Whitton has been celebrating after his debut single, Please Don't Let Me Go, went straight in at number one, fighting off the American star Katy Perry to claim that all-important top spot. Well done. Ollie puts his success down to the fact he enjoys singing so much and always makes sure he puts the same effort into every performance he does. A bit like us every <laughs> single night, but we're no exact to <laughs> Now, the English are famous for being eccentric. Certainly are, and it's fair to say the inventor we're about to meet is more eccentric than most. Perry Watkins from Wingrave near Leighton Buzzard has featured before in Anglia tonight. He currently has two world motoring records and has just gone for a third. And if you don't think that sounds particularly out of the ordinary, well, in my best Jeremy Clarkson voice, keep watching. There are a few telltale signs that Perry Watkins' late summer picnic is more than your average ham sandwich, lemonade and wasp fest. The candelabra is impressive, but that's not it. The slightly, how should we say, waxy fruit and tough old bird are more of a hint, but the fully licensed champagne bucket, well, that's the real giveaway. I came across the world's fastest furniture, which is a, an official Guinness record. That's currently held by a guy called Ed China. Um, he's got a sofa that did 92 miles an hour. So I thought, well, we'll build a dining table and see if we can beat that. But a sofa with its comfy seat and relative aerodynamic lines is one thing. Getting a roast dinner down the track at nearly 100 miles an hour, an altogether very different gravy. The tablecloth billows up and it's difficult to see where you're going. It's hard to imagine Jensen Button or Lewis Hamilton having a similar issue. But if anyone's designed to break the world speed furniture record, it's our Perry. I already have two world records, one for the lowest car in the world. The one for the smallest car in the world. But back to the tastiest at the Santa Pod drag racing track in Northamptonshire, and Perry's providing a few more reasons why his dastardly diner may well struggle to break the record in the wackiest of races. Champagne bottle, gravy, candelabras, flaming teapots, all adds to the fun. Fun, Perry? No, that's not what it's all about. We want a record, and not just any record, the world speed furniture record. Time to strap in. Cutlery gripped. Watch that chicken, Perry. So, as Perry and his table of Formula fancies heads to the start line, a quick recap as it stands. The record for the fastest furniture, 92 miles per hour held by Ed China's souped-up sofa. In fact, the only thing apparently missing from Perry's contender is soup. But enough of the table talk, the napkin has dropped, race on, and Perry is eating up the course. Ignore that chap on the left, car racing is so yesterday. And it's fantastic news. Perry Watkins, 99.06 miles per hour. You are the new world speed furniture record holder. What was it like out there? The crowd were absolutely superb, waving and cheering all the way. They were really, really good. And uh, what happened to the waiter that was serving? Yeah. I've lost my waiter. He was running around the track saying, you haven't paid your bill yet, haven't paid brilliant. your bill. I could see yeah. why there was no soup on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can now, can't you? <laughs> yeah. I was amazed you could actually even see the crowd and sort of see them waving again at that speed. Now, he did say he's got to clear a bit in his garage before he can even think about doing another record. So What's one of those three's got to go, like, goodness knows. <gasps> Ideas in here. Now, it's edging towards the next half of your news hour. Here's a look at what the national team have for you. Yep, that is coming up now. Looking out the window, you can't really say it's sort of Mexican weather. Mexico, now, <laughs> that sounds like a nice place to be. we just come back, haven't it you? It was very, very oh, nice. You may have spotted the little hint there at the early part of the programme. We're no longer speaking to Victoria Webb, are we? It's Victoria Lampard. Victoria Lampard, I've got to get used to that one now. Congratulations, yeah. How, how was it? Was it great? It was lovely. Brilliant. Really, really lovely. Well, yes. see if you brought back some of that lovely weather, shall we? I know, it's really cold. I know, I know. We'll get used to it. Here's Rachel. <laughs> Well, that's all from us for now. Thank you for joining us. I'll be back for your late news at half past ten. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow night. All the best. Until then.